Hello, I'm Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed. Today, December 15, 2010 at 10.15 p.m. in Birmingham, Alabama, where it is cold. Today's topic, Glenn Beck, a great American. I watched a special today. It's uh, on the Glenn Beck Show. And it was... Wilmington, Ohio. This is a, a city, a town that has really been hit hard and um, with a, a large part of that town, people being out of work, he decided to go there and do a show today. And uh, this is going to be short, what I have to say. So y'all, if you can, hang in there. Wilmington, Ohio, Glenn Beck, I want to say this, to me, you're John Hagee, Joel Osteen, a politician, a great motivational speaker, and a true American, all balled up in one, and I say that because I believe that the platform that you have and that you're using today to get the message out that we all need to hear and not only what we need to hear that we know, but we just don't have that platform. I want to, I want to tell you a quick story and, um, I, I, I don't know if Glenn Beck knows this story or not, but it reminds me now of Glenn Beck. Um, Richard Nixon's mother told Richard Nixon one day when he was a young man, she said, one day you're going to grow up and, and God has one special thing that he wants you to do and he will call you to do it one day and this was when Richard Nixon was young now obviously his mother was a, a good Christian woman well Richard Nixon goes on and one day he makes president but his ties with the Jews weren't that good because he's he's just not pro-Jewish, but in the 67, God, I think this is right, I may be wrong, 67 war, when, um, or maybe it was 61, I apologize, please forgive me for that, but um, go to my ear, called Richard Nixon, First, she got Henry Kissinger and said, she said, we need help. And Henry Kissinger's words were, I'm sorry, you just have to bleed a while. And he hung up on her. She was the president or the prime minister of Israel during that time. She knew that they were about to be defeated. They were going down. And they were going down then. But that's not what the Bible says. That's not what the Bible said. So she thought, I'm going to make one more call and I must talk to the president. So she called and it was sometime in the wee hours of the morning. Richard Nixon took that call. And she told him what she needed. He hung up the phone. He called the Secretary of State. He said, get them everything they need and get it there now. Richard Nixon was born to do just that. That was his purpose in all his life. That one time, that one conversation with Golda Meir that day, 
That's why Richard Nixon was born, and he did fulfill God's purpose. Now, Glenn Beck, here you are. You're doing these great things that we, people like me, can't do. We don't have a platform. We don't have a voice, not much of one. If I could shout it from the rooftops, I would. If I had any way to get people to listen to me, I would. I have sworn to the Constitution and uphold it in this country, and I'll never change my mind, ever. But Glenn Beck, of all the shows I saw you do, I believe that your purpose was fulfilled today. I believe that your purpose from being born was fulfilled today and you served God by doing just that. And I just say, man, I'm with you. I love you. And so does America. Jody Wolf. Expose.